Vehicle Compliance Program and Operational Guide. Adding a new vehicle. From your dashboard page, click Vehicle Management. Click Add New Vehicle. Click Details. Select your vehicle type. Once you have entered critical details, like the vehicle VIN number, the Save button can be used at any time to save your new entry. You can return later to enter more vehicle details or modify your existing details. Ensure you have entered the vehicle details in all detail tabs, aviation, vehicle features, dangerous goods and compartments. To add tanker compartments including maximum capacity and safe fill levels, click Add New Compartment. To add more compartments, repeat the process by clicking Add New Compartment until you have entered all compartments. To save vehicle details, click the Save button. Tags display the vehicle's level of compliance based on the details you have provided. Non-compliant indicates the vehicle is not eligible for a pass-to-load inspection based on the details you have provided. SLP compliant indicates the vehicle is eligible for pass-to-load inspection based on the details you have provided. Contract indicates the vehicle meets basic BP, Caltex and Viva Energy requirements for road transport based on the details you have provided. The Archive button can be used to remove vehicles you no longer require in the VCB system. If you need to access archived vehicles in the future, click the Include Archived button when conducting a vehicle search. Summary page indicates the vehicle status for Vehicle Roadworthy, Tanker Hydrostatic Test, Tanker Hatch and Vent Test, and Pass to Load. First inspection events are added automatically and commence from the vehicle build date. Inspection summary details can be found in the Inspections tab. The Inspections page is where you can add inspection details and documents. You can also access pass to load inspection information and documents uploaded by SLP inspection locations.